welcome to eltro pixels if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications hello friends welcome to eltro pixels this is a samsung 40 inch 3d led tv the complaint is no display see here you can see the backlight is okay see the backlight you can see the backlight on the screen but the complaint is no display there is no picture here you can see only backlight is there this is the model number of the tv ua 40 eh 6030 r this is a 3d led tv now we remove the back cover of the tv this is the motherboard here this is the take on board and this is the power supply board it's a 3d tv now the tv is turned on now let's check the picture again you can see the backlight before starting repair now let's check the picture again and start the repair see now the complaint is still same no display you can see the backlight and then there is no nothing showing on the display so now let's start measuring the basic panel voltages in the take on board now let's check the basic panel voltages let's start from the panel input vcc the panel input vcc is 12 volt so let's check the parallel input vcc first here you can see the vga jvdd test points these are the vga and jvdd check points this is the bgl check point so let's start measuring the voltages now we put the meter in dc mode so let's start with the 12 volt input we panel input vcc is okay or not here you can see the 12 volt panel vcc is okay here you can see 12 volt in the panel tt con board is present so the basic input voltage to the take on board is okay while checking in the v on vgh point i found that there is no vgh voltage is present the vgh voltage is missing also while checking evdd and the vgl voltages are also missing from the take on board here you can see there is no vgh vgl avdd voltages in the take on board so these basic voltages are missing from the take on board which is causing the issue of no display complaint on the tv you can see the 3.3 and 1.8 voltages are okay and these two voltages are present in the take on board so let's start the repair you can see there is no input voltage in the input voltage 12 volt present in the avdd section you can see 1.8 volt so let's turn off the tv and check for any any shorting inside the in the take on board
so now we put the multimeter in buzzer mode now let's check for shorting in any pf smd capacitor using multimeter here you can while checking here you can see the shorting sound here you can see the buzzing sound here you can hear the buzzer sound in avdd voltage section avdd voltage is shorted to ground here you can see the pf smd capacitor related to avdd voltage is short to the ground and is it is showing the buzzer sound there are also avdd touch points here avdd voltage and the right side of fc cables is also short here you can see the avdd touch points in avdd related capacitors pf capacitors are showing short these are the assembly capacitors avdd volt uh, capacitor avdd voltage is to the left side of the ffc cable these are also showing short so all pf smd capacitors related to avdd voltage is showing short see here the avdd voltages are short with the ground so which is most probably which is causing the issue of no display now let's try to remove each smd pf capacitors and check for the shorting is removed or not so let's start from the left side ffc cable ffc cable first so now let's remove this uh, the now let's remove this pf smd capacitor first and check whether the shorting is removed or not see so let's start the repair from the left side ffc so i'm going to remove the second one and check whether the shorting is removed or not so now let's remove the this capacitor and check the shorting is removed or not see now the capacitor is removed here we opened one side of the capacitor from the take on board using soldering iron now let's check whether the shorting is removed or not now also it shows shorting so let's resolder the capacitor back to the take on board now we open the other capacitor near to it now let's open the other capacitor near to it here you can see we opened the resoldered the first one that we opened earlier and opened the other capacitor near to it now the shorting is removed from the avdd points so this smd capacitor is showing the fault this is the reason this pf is short and which is causing the voltage drop is issue the, this smd capacitor short which is causing this issue here you can see now the shorting is removed now there is no shorting see now the shorting is completely removed from the take on board we can see now shorting is removed successfully now the avdd voltage section is is not short at all it's working there is no shorting inside the avdd test points we can see shorting is removed successfully now let's check the pf capacity pf capacitor that be removed now is short or not 
here you can see here the buzzer sound it's telling that this pf is short see the buzzer sound see the meter is buzzing so it's confirmed that the issue with this uh, issue causing the no display is because of this pf this pf capacitor is short and which is causing the issue of no display because of that the evdd voltage is shorted to the ground because of uh, this capacitor so now we removed the shorting from the take on board now let's turn on the tv and check measure the basic panel voltages are present or not so let's put the meter in dc mode and check measure the basic panel voltages so now we kept the meter in dc mode so let's start the measurement from the avdd voltage first now let's turn on the tv now the tv is turned on so let's measure the voltages this is the avdd test point here you can see 17 volt avdd voltage is present so the avdd voltage is okay now let's check the vgh v on it is also called as vgh so here you can see the vgh voltage is also present now let's check the vgl v of voltage here you can see minus 11 voltage so the vgl voltage is also present now all basic panel voltages are okay here you can see the 12 volt 17 volt avdd voltage and the 12 input 12 volt input voltage also present now all voltage now all voltage measurement is correct so most probably now the picture will be okay so now let's check the picture see now the picture comes and we successfully resolved the complaint you can see that the picture is perfectly okay so we repaired the tv successfully so thanks for watching hope you like this video if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications see you in another video with another interesting topics subscribe our channel for more interesting videos like this so oh. This video helps you. Thanks for watching. In another video.